Hi everybody, it's Miss Maureen from the Westminster Library coming to you from our very large meeting room. Today what we're going to do is the Spaghetti Marshmallow Tower Challenge. Hmm, what is that you ask? Well, you're gonna find out. So let me show you first the things that we're gonna need. We're gonna need 20 pieces of spaghetti, tape, now I have masking tape and I have about a yard of it. So I go like this and that's a yard. That's how much tape I have, that much. Um, but you can use any tape you have at home. You're gonna use a piece of string. About a yard of it is what you can have. And a marshmallow. Now the goal here is to build a tower as high as we can with our 20 pieces of spaghetti that's gonna hold up this marshmallow. Now a marshmallow doesn't seem very heavy, but I don't know what's gonna happen with the spaghetti. So I was talking to my friend Lauren about this challenge and we thought, hmm, it might be kind of fun to like have a competition. And so we were gonna do that, but then we got to thinking, maybe it'll be even better and more fun if we did it together. So we're gonna work on this challenge together. So Lauren's gonna come on in. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. Here comes Lauren. Hi everyone. All right, so here we are. We have our things and we're gonna get started. So Lauren, what do you think we should do first? Hmm, well, what do you think? What are some shapes that we could use as our base? Well, what are the shapes? We could use a square. Hmm. We could use a triangle. I think that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Let's try that. All right, I'm gonna move this tape out of the way. And here's the tape that we have to work with. We only have this much. So we have to make sure we're using it the right way. All right, so what do you think we should do first? Okay, so first I'm thinking as a hint, the larger the base, the more weight it might be able to hold. Mm, good thinking. And a marshmallow isn't that heavy, but we're trying to make the tower tall. So why don't we make a square? And how many sides does a square have? Four, you're right, All good right. job. Hmm, let's see, what, what should we do now? Hmm, do you think the base is strong enough? Um, I think, I think so. I think okay. we should let the base be, and I think maybe we could make a triangle now, triangle. like a pyramid. A pyramid. A pyramid. A pyramid. Yes, a pyramid. Okay, so we started our tower with a square base, and now we've made a pyramid top. We need to make it taller, right? Well, that might work. <laughs> well, the, the challenge is, is to make it as tall as you can. So that's up to us. But what if we keep building just straight up? That's an idea. And also, the marshmallow, when you get it on the top, ooh, has to be suspended for at least 15 seconds. Can we jam it on the spaghetti? We can jam it on the spaghetti. We don't have to use the string. <laughs> That's a great idea. Oh, it has to be suspended. It just has to be freestanding, meaning that it has to be, can't be propped, it can't be held, and it can't be hanging from the ceiling, even though I know you thought of that, because that's a great idea. Yeah. So, I guess just sticking on top of work. Why don't we do that? Because I know that when you guys get these supplies, oh, did I mention you guys can come pick up these supplies at the library? We are gonna put what you see here, not the tape, everything but the tape, in a bag that you can come pick up at the library and you can do this challenge at home. And I know, and I think Lauren knows too, Miss Lauren knows, is that you guys are gonna do a fantastic job and your tower is gonna look way better than ours because, you know, you probably have a better imagination than we do. I'm sure you're already thinking of better ideas as we speak while you're watching this. Because look at this. What's do gonna you happen? think this is gonna hold? 
What happens if you let go? Seems a little wobbly. Is it going to fall over? Let go. So we're going to need to keep working on our tower to make it strong enough to hold this marshmallow. So we're going to do that later. But the other thing I wanted to show you is in the bag that we're going to put out for you on Tuesday, so tomorrow, you are going to have all of these things, but we're also going to have some gumdrops. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. And marshmallows. I don't like marshmallows, so I'm not going to eat those. And some toothpicks. And you can build some other things with, I shouldn't be eating while I'm trying to talk, with these things. And you can make shapes. You can make whatever you want out of these things. You want to say anything else about that? Very cool. You can even try the challenge again using some of these materials and see mm -hmm. if you can build a really tall tower using different shapes. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, we've done our challenge. We kind of didn't do so great, but that's okay because we're gonna try again after we stop filming here today. And we're also gonna bag up all these things for you and you're gonna be able to pick them up at the Westminster Library. This is the last um, program that we're gonna be doing on Mondays because summer is almost <laughs> over. It's so sad. And it's going to be back to school time soon, and that's so exciting. So we really hope that you'll come see us at the library and pick up these things and that you have a great beginning of the school year. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming.